Hello, beautiful animals. How's everybody doing the day before the big solar eclipse? I'm curious to know how you are. It's been um, sort of intense energetically for me, definitely, uh, with everything going on in this moment and things that are opening up. So I am looking forward to this time to share something to help us all come into our hearts and ground into what this moment is holding for us and as we ground also expand and feel um, our wings. So today I pulled the butterfly. So that's what we get to journey with. And I really hope that the quality on this video is better. I wanted to apologize for it. They've been really fuzzy, and I think I fixed the setting for that. So hopefully you all can see me, and I'm not just a blur. But we're going to close our eyes anyway, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, so go ahead and get comfy in your seat and take a nice deep breath and lower your eyes. And take three breaths where you just really let your lungs expand all the way down into your belly. And as you exhale, just let any tension, any stress of the day just dissolve and fall away from you. And the butterfly totem is inviting us to come into contact with the part of us that has very recently moved from being a caterpillar to coming into the chrysalis. And so let yourself feel as though you are that caterpillar wrapped around by your cocoon, feeling held by a gentle embrace, feeling suspended off of the, the branch that you've chosen. And in that space of the cocoon, As a caterpillar, you have been undergoing quite the transformation. And so feel how your body is actually no longer that of the caterpillar, that it's actually become that goo somewhere in between caterpillar and butterfly. And so embrace that liquid, kind of gooey, not really a form part of you that's like whatever's been going on in your life, the word goo just summarizes it. <laughs> everything that's in flux, everything that's falling away, all of the parts that are changing, metamorphosizing. Oh, just breathe into that space. And now I'm going to invite you to leave a part of yourself there in the cocoon and let a part of yourself come and be human outside of the cocoon, observing it as you would if you were walking along in a beautiful flower garden and all of a sudden this amazing chrysalis caught your attention. Whatever color it is, whatever pattern it has, the you that is in human form gets to just surrender in 
awe of how beautiful it is, the precious miracle it is, this moment in nature that you get to witness, knowing that inside of that cocoon is an incredible transformation occurring. And so let your heart just really open and send love towards that little cocoon and that goo that's held within. <laughs> wow. Feel your love flowing as emerald green sparkly light from your heart towards the heart of this transformation, this moment, intense moment of change. And now we're gonna jump back and come back into the cocoon and from the side of being within you're gonna receive, let yourself receive the love that's coming towards you. The love from you that's being sent towards the part of you that's in this transformation. And just breathe into all the all the discomfort of, of being in the cocoon and the uncertainty of it and the darkness there. And especially with the eclipse tomorrow, the darkness that our whole country is going to come under in this moment of reflection and what it means to be in relationship with that part of ourselves, with that part of our shadow. And so breathe into all that is, and as you do, the invitation is to actually feel yourself becoming that butterfly. Let yourself start to have a form. Different parts of your body are coming into view. And you notice that your wings are like huge. You can feel them forming and you're like, wow, that's like five times bigger than my body, those wings or more. And so feel as you become that butterfly, how your desire to fly, to break out of this cocoon to emerge is growing within you. And consider, you know, what would it look like to really let your wings unfold this week? What are the conversations you need to have? What are the decisions you need to make? What are the ways that you want to show up differently? more in alignment with your heart, more vulnerable, more with grace and ease and joy. What are those things? And so all of that as it's coming into view Feel yourself as the butterfly that it's now time. It's time to emerge. And you feel the cocoon falling away, shedding off you. As you climb up onto the branch and your wings dry off, how new that feels, how scary it is. To go from caterpillar to butterfly, can you imagine? <laughs> That's what we're all doing right now. Figuring it out. 
This is new. This is different. What do I do with this part? <laughs> so let yourself, you know, have a moment to feel maybe your body even really physically feels different it, during this meditation. I wouldn't be surprised if it does. And just breathe. Remember, that's why we have our breath. That we get to always come back to that in any moment. And so as you look out of your butterfly eyes, out into the world, from up on your branch, you feel your wings are ready to flutter. And you can see the things that you're going to fly towards. And so make the commitment to yourself right now in your heart that this is a moment that you're choosing love, you're choosing to surrender, you're choosing to be in connection with your heart and with however you connect to spirit, whatever you call the divine, I call it divine love, spirit, source, whatever that is for you. You know that you're going to remember your divinity in this way. And so take another nice deep breath with that commitment that you're holding. When you're ready, you can come back into your human body again. Thank you so much. Deep bow to butterfly. And I'd love to hear anything that came up for you in the comments. Please feel free to share. It's such a delight for me to hear what these meditations bring up for people. And as always, you're welcome to like, to share. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can find these live videos if you follow me on Facebook. And you can also subscribe on YouTube if it's the other way around. So thank you all so much and blessings on your journey. I hope you have a wonderful eclipse tomorrow, whatever you are up to. Love you all.